Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one in this bitch. Let's get on with it. Brass tanks. Guys, what's going on? These, this is a quick review on Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows part one. We're just going to get on with it. We're not going to talk about the movie, because we've already done seen the movie a million times. I'm gonna, I can't really talk about the sound other than to say that the sound was really good from where I heard it. And I've reviewed this on a Panasonic 4K player, the 900 version, and um, the LG OLED G6, uh, the flagship from last year. It's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch. This movie was shot in 35, some scenes were shot in 70. Uh, the digital intermediate is 2K. Visual effects, 2K. DTSX master audio in this bitch. Similar to my review of The Deathly Hallows Part 2. The HDR adds vibrancy to this one. It's an uptick from the 1080p. Some things are more noticeable, obviously, when you're up close. When you're further away, not so much. There is pop to this movie. I think there was more pop in Deathly Hallows 2, but in this one, it's a little more subtle. I think the HDR is the main winner there because you do notice a wider color. Some cases, it looks a tad bit oversaturated, but it just could be me. It just, I felt like, wait a minute, there's a bit of crush here and there. And that TV is calibrated, so it can't be the TV in this bitch. It's not gonna blow you away. This transfer specifically, the black levels have to be on point, in which they were, so you can make out a lot more things that happened in this movie. This is definitely the best looking version. It's a shame these weren't 4K digital intermediates. If you're looking for reference, go elsewhere. If you're looking to be blown away, go elsewhere. This isn't that. Perks could come in the room and not realizing you're watching 4K, but they should realize the added color. I didn't go through all of the movies, but I just went through footnotes. Do you know what I mean? I went through chapters, watched a little bit, skipped forward a little bit. I, could, I can't be sitting through all of the Harry Potter shits. I can be real with you. I've noticed that, especially movies shot in 35. Obviously, it's going to have a bit of grain to it, which it does, but it's not overpowering as such. You should wait. The, the accompanying uh, Blu-ray comes with all of the features the initial Blu-ray had anyway. You'd want to wait till a box set comes out or something. You know, they're okay upgrades. All right, guys, hit the like button if you liked it. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm going to catch you guys next time.